Hi there, mateys, and welcome to the Jaya Drinking Special Talk Like a Pirate Day edition. I'll be your captain, Michael Walks, and we're going to be doing a painting with that landlubber, Bob Ross. And I'll be talking like a pirate the whole way through. But it ain't the joy of drinking unless it's a joy to drink. So let's have a look at some of this fine booty we have here. And what would a pirate be drinking other than some rum? The Kraken Black Spice Drum, to be particular. But of course, pirates couldn't drink so fancy on the high seas. Pirates like me had to have grog. So I'll pour me some Kraken. But to tame the beast, we need some bilge water. Me first matey Ron shall pour. Ah, uh, there's a good first mate. Now get out of here, you scallywag. Yo-ho-ho! Mmm. Huh! Bilge water indeed. Now I fancy to get started. So, me first mate Ron is gonna give me some information I need so we can set sail on this Bob Ross adventure. Season 12, episode 9, Tropical Seascape. Looks like I'll be using me sea legs after all. Top half magic weight, bottom half magic clear. What sort of malarkey is this? And the colors I'll be using are Alizarian Crimson, Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna, Midnight Black, Prussian Blue, Thalo Blue, Titanium White, Cadmium Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Indian Yellow, and Permanent Red. But first, let's get that magic white and magic clear on me canvas. Ooh, very, very good. I'll be using me two-inch brush for this task. This here task. And on we go. I see a piece of tape has already been applied to me canvas. Thank you, first matey. First mate, I should say. It wasn't so long ago that I took up this here swabbing habit. And I'll be swabbing again with Bob Ross. He may be a man lover, but... When it comes to swabbing, he knows how to swab with the best of him. Some may say that Mr. Bob is lily-livered, but I say nay. It's those who won't be painting along with us who be lily-livered. So if you haven't done so already, grab yourself a brush and get on painting with me and Bob Ross. Click the link in the description down below, whatever a link be. And you can see me and Bob painting side by side. Magic clear on the bottom. I still had a bit of me magic white left on the brush. But we'll have to just go with it. Full speed ahead. Whole wind set sail. Get me vertical strokes. Now what do I do with this here piece of tape? It's in me way. Leave it be. Leave it be, he say. What do you think, Mr. Crackers? Ah, huh? leave it be. Leave it be as you clean your brush. Ah, that was the dumbest joke I think I've ever made. Here you are. Now give me me hook hand. Yes. Hold it, hold the back. Hook hand in. Yes, I lost it just five seconds ago as I was putting on me palette. But I'm ready to go. Are we ready to go, first mate? Ready yeah. to set sail? Yeah. Hull wind! Yeah. Arr. You don't hear this sort of fine music out on the high sea. That is, unless you stop in part, find you some wenches, and listen to the local flavor playing. Let's see what Mr. Ross has to offer us this time. Some sort of tropical seascape? I'd like to see him try. So used to painting mountains and the like. Will we be landlubbing or will we be out in sea? 
Glad to see you too. Yeah, we know the colors already. Mm. You can see Bob here already telling you the stuff I already told you. That bilge rat. He has no decency, no common sense of a swashbuckler. I've already done it for you. So we're getting ready to go. An easy way? Ah, who needs easy when you got all this fine booty here to spend? <laughs> Yellow ochre. A drink to start. Ooh, that'd be strong. Yellow ochre! The two-inch brush! Uh, uh, yellow ochre. Yes, there's one right here. I don't want another yellow belly painting, but we'll start with a yellow topped painting. Ooh, we already got us another color. First mate, what color be this? <clears throat> he started with Indian yellow. Indian yeller. Indian yeller it be. Oh, and bright red. I haven't gotten that far, Bob. You, you're traveling too fast. Too many knots or what have you. Into the permanent red. Or the, this red here will do just fine. Red with the blood of me enemies. Uh. A pirate ain't afraid to let loose his wind. Or a hall wind, or whatever he wants to do with his wind. Clean me brush. Clean my brush. I hope me lips is out of frame. But I won't know until I am it in it. <laughs> sure. Don't leave you. Bob, I hardly, I hardly know ye. Some sort of blue in there. Yes, it's about time we had some blue. Lavender. Lavender. Lavender color, yes. This is lavender enough for me. It should be lavender enough for ye, I fancy. Eh, maybe a little more blood red. I like how me dreads is falling on me palette. Gives it more character, if you ask me. Ah! Seem to be splattering paint all over me canvas. Hey, <laughs> just as good. And now just the blue. I fancy. Hey, it'd be a nice blue. No blue compares to Mother Ocean, but if you find yourself landlocked, maybe you can use a. Painting such as this, a swabbing I like to call it, to remind you of what life is like out at sea. And to remind me, I sure need a swig of me grog. The knife! Let me get me pallet dagger for this task. Yar, I plundered this off of some poor unfortunate soul. Now drowning in Davy Jones. Ooh, this will be very hard indeed. Some lines somewhere or another. Sure, ooh. Little floating clouds. Me favorite clouds are the clouds made by me cannons firing. But I'll take some fluffy white ones if that's what the situation calls for. Wherever I want him, well, I'll put him right in the red. <laughs> Off the edge, sure. Whoa, good enough for me. Ah, an artful stroke. Oh. Got to clean it. Now 
was a pirate, and as a captain, it's hard to keep clean on the high seas, but when you're doing a swabbing such as this, it's imperative. Cute! Her! Who wants their wenches to be cute, much less their clouds? I suppose cute wenches be fine and all, but it be a sexy wench that keeps me coming back to heart. The return of the pellet dagger. Wipe off the blood of the enemies once more. Which color be this? Looked like it'd be the blue and the red again. But a little bit of the sea foam white. Oh, what's this scallywag on about? Save me problems. See me, oh, I painted me hook. <laughs> the Admiral will be laughing at me for that behind me back for sure. The big drat. Oh, he's already got the land. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I'll give it a try. What brush he be using, first mate? He be using a fan brush soon. A fan brush? But now he'd be done. Yeah, well, I be using it all the same. Something dark, it seems. I'll just mix up whatever colors I feel are right, and I'll make me some land-loving mountain. Sure. Sure, just like that. Perfect. And a brush. The two-inch brush with this dark purple again. No time to clean. Just gotta get mean. Blue, red, and here we go. Sure, it's close enough. Mix a little bit of the black of the Jolly Roger in there to get it a little darker still. You know, when I was a young lad, and I do mean a young lad, I attended school like the rest of you. Not knowing I'd become Pirate Mike. And one day when I was ten years old or so, I learned of a day. Talk like a pirate day. And this be true. That whole day I talked like a pirate. From class to recess to the playground. And that's what I knew. That's what I knew. The sort of man of gentleman of fortune that I'd become. And here I am fulfilling that destiny today. Fate has rolled her dice and determined that I am to be a pirate Mike. Ooh, liquid clear. I'm just mixing all these colors together, trying to get something dark. Ronnie! I could use a bit more black if I could. There we go. Oh, blow me down! <laughs> That's a fine color. Blow me down, shiver me timbers and all of that. Meet Timbers be shivered once in a while, but not so often as the stereotypical pirate would have you believe. We're a rare breed. Use me smaller brush veins, comfortable. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? I got several brushes and I got several rums and you drinking. Mm. 
And that's good. Sure, use me one inch for this. Yellow ochre and dark sienna. Yellow ochre. Uh, dark sienna. Oh, I haven't used much of either of these colors yet. Good. I must be going to the right. And we'll blow. Oh, no. I gotta put a lighter color over me, darks. That's never a good sign. <laughs> but we'll do it all the same. Ah. Terrible. Blow me down. This is awful. <laughs> That's all right, we've got darker mountains. Who needs the light ones anyway? Maybe if I use some thicker amount of paint, then the swabbing will be finer. Firm pressure with this here palette. Dagger. But this pallet dagger, it's not be doing me any good. I need the proper tools of a swabber. First mate, take me dagger. I'll be using the proper tools from here on out. <laughs> you have made a fatal mistake. What? Ah, let me true captain ever gives up his dagger. Mutiny on board. No land lover, lady lover, direct bill, water, <laughs> drink, and testicle. I'll take your captain's hat. Take it! Me captain's Hand has... it over! Oh, but can't I get just one Hand more? Hand it over! One more! Oh, water line! If that's what it means. <laughs> oh, terrible. Stripped of me honor of a gentleman of fortune. If anyone's... The sweat of the testicles of a bilge rat. It be ye, Ronnie. It be ye. Not me. What's your tongue when you talk to your new captain? Ah, uh, sorry, captain. All me duty to ye. All me duty to ye. Suppose soon he'll be wanting me to call him a lady rather than a wench. <laughs> lady rather than a wench? Sure. A teeny roll. Ooh. I do like when the sun sets for many clouds. I do like it too, I fancy. Hey, look at this mess. This should be foundering. There's no coming back. Then again. Mm. Speaking to you plainly, these clouds don't look like clouds much at all. But I do hope that this swabbing becomes the finest piece of booty in some future pirate hall. Oh, and the mountain too as well. Sure. I still be somewhat sad though. Sad to have lost me captain's title. So I'm trying to right this ship. I call upon, if you would, Captain Ron to play us a little sea shanty to get us through these troubled and dark times. <laughs>
a bottle of rum in need. Bilge! Bilge! Thought I could get away with not drinking me, Bilge. Mm. Ah. Well, will this be a handicap for sure? The only thing worse would be a peg leg, but look at me. Trying to make these fancy lines and don't even have me mountain painted. Swab away! Swab the deck! Uh, rock and motion, sir. Uh, looking at this. Me port be foul. Me starboard be foul. Waves and stuff. Oh, these be waves, not mountains. <laughs> well, that makes it better, I suppose. Waves can be more amorphous. Mountains be harder. More white, titanium kind, Captain. Yeah, it'd be pain enough us, pain us enough. More titanium, white, Captain. Captain. Sure. Good. <laughs> that white gold. Mm. One inch, sir. How do I make me swabbing look like his swabbing? How can I write to this ship? I suppose if I imagine it looks like a weave, it looks far better. Three seats to the wind and it all starts looking better. So light, so light, there's guts to be away. Well, so much paint still left on me swab. Yes, I wouldn't want to reckon with a wave of this size when I was sailing. But I'm happy to contribute to the art. You may be saying, why is he still going on in this whole pirate lingo? But let me tell you something. You got to commit! I'm a pirate, and you're a painter, and I'm a painter too. Look at me getting all sentimental like Bob. I be taking after that landlubber too hard. Selling? Selling? I be stealing paintings, not selling them. <laughs> Plunder's my way. Plunder's the way of a gentleman of fortune. Swashbuckling. <laughs> I hope me painting be stolen one day. Ooh, scrubbing me shadow, sir. Oh, that wave be crashing. I can make that wave crashing. And crash it down. Got to clean me brush. There's no other way. <laughs> Maybe not paper towel. I ain't got one. Uh, that's all right. Now is the time. Ah, uh, fine. Wipe away. Not a color, but a white and a lot of yellow. This wave come down here. Crash down here. There's a yellow wave. Sure. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get the job done. Ooh. This paint in the sea is a lot harder than living on it. Oh, I'm getting paint all over me sleeves. <laughs> mm. It's 
Thunderside here. And a little bit of the Van Dyke Brown, if that's what it's gonna take. Sure, there'll be some kelp in this weave. Well, I think making this swab and be better be some more rum. I think it's a lost cause to be drank with it. Sure, titanium white, phthalo blue. I think I got some white digging around somewhere here. Well, now I got unlimited time. I don't got no time at all, you landlubber Ross. You've taken all the time I have. Do they now? Uh, all right, I'll try once more to farm it. Yeah, the fan brush. Oh, foam patterns. That's what will save it. Flatter and flatter. Like the chest of a young one. <laughs> Her. I got the color of onions again, Kim. That titanium of it. I rest me brush on the palette. Take one more swig of granite. Ah, there it be. Bring her about! Ah, this white never seems to go the way I need. It's as if... Oh, that's a beach down there. Well, land ho! I did not know that was the land there, but I suppose it makes sense. What else did you need? Oh, a palm tree! <laughs> anyway, I thought things were getting barren. This scallywag comes into the palm tree. Little more foam. Little more of home. <laughs> me who can be failing me. <laughs> the pallet knife. Here we go. Get rid of all these excess colors. And stay to focus on the darks. Oh, don't have much left. But we'll use this Van Dyke Brown and make the best of it, I fancy. Sure. Coming right off the beach there. Uh, and another. Oh, off the port side of me swabbing. All the way up above the teeth lane. Fell in mer. But I got my Van Dyke Brown right here. Up we go. Well above the tape line. I once heard an artist say that watching me do an oil painting is like watching a train wreck in slow motion. I don't know about a train wreck. But I've seen a shipwreck or three. And I reckon this will be about as bad as any of those. <laughs>
But I know who to blame for all this, really. It be me farmer first mate, Ron. Who be the first mate now? I be the first mate on this ship of two, I said. Nay, you paratids. <laughs> I'm the first mate. I be a swabby then. Aye. But a swabby be a swashbuckler still, eh, Captain Ron? Aye, he be. But between ye and me, I think this. I think this swabbing started a founder in the moment I stopped being captain of this vessel. But I look forward to painting with you again, too, Mr. Barbarous Landlubber, sir. Well, I suppose that narrow music means that it's the end of the uh, end of the swabbing here. Not so sure I fancy what came of it. But if you were just watching me getting drunk off a of space rum, I suggest you watch it again. Go look in the link in the description down below and click it and see me and Bob painting side by side. We got another episode coming up soon, so I suggest you subscribe so you can see it. What's it gonna be? Well, it's going to be Rush Hashana themed joy of drinking. Never thought you'd hear a pirate say them words, did you? But it's true, I was raised on a Jewish faith, and I ain't seen too many Rush Hashana themed specials of any kind. So I'll be doing one right here on the joy of drinking. So, I suppose that's it for this. Pirate's fortune. I got paint on me sleeve, and I don't want to be letting it go. Because I know that once this pirate link will be gone, it be gone further. But, it's the end. So I'll sign me name. No, that landlubber Bob didn't. But I'll put it here. So future swashbucklers will know who I was and why. M. For Michael! No! W. For Waxer. I'm your pirate, Mike. And if you please, play me out, Captain Ron, with a good old sea shandy. Yo ho ho! And a bottle of rum. Sing along if you know. <laughs> <laughs>